Meghan Markle's estranged father Thomas Markle Sr. said to be ready to travel across the pond to defend his decision to leak the Duchess of Sussex private letter to a British tabloid, a source claimed. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, launched last week a rare legal action against the Mail on Sunday, alleging the tabloid unlawfully published one of her handwritten letters. Extracts of the five-page note, sent from Meghan to her father in August 2018, were published earlier this year by the British tabloid, which is now accused by Meghan and Prince Harry of misusing private information. Mr Markle said he is ready to travel to the UK to defend his decision to release the letter, one insider claimed. They told the Mirror, it is tragic how Tom didn't come to Meghan's wedding yet his first brush with anything royal could be in one of Her Majesty's courts. Tom speaking out to defend his actions, over the letter, shows his intent, he is adamant he was justified. Mr Markle, a retired Hollywood lighting director, leaked the letter to the Sunday paper after five friends of Meghan spoke to People magazine about the strained father-daughter relationship. The friends of the Duchess, who didn't reveal whether their interview had been sanctioned by Meghan, have been the first to publicly mention the existence of the letter. Mr Markle, who told the Mail on Sunday he had sworn to keep it private, then decided to share the letter with the media to defend himself from Meghan's friends' words. Prince Harry announced the legal action against the Mail on Sunday on October 1, with a lengthy and personal statement published on an otherwise empty website. In the statement, Prince Harry referenced his mother, Princess Diana, and said his deepest fear is history repeating itself. He wrote, I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. This legal action sparked speculation over whether senior royal aides, members of Team Sussex and even the royal family had been informed of the Duke's move before he released his statement. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams believes that, if royal aides had advised Prince Harry against launching this attack on the tabloid press, their opinion was ignored. He told Express.co.uk, Royalty usually takes note of precedents which this does not and if they, Harry and Meghan, were advised this was unwise, this advice was ignored. If ever there was an instance which made it clear they wanted to do things their way this is especially given in Harry's emotive words. They are intentionally playing for very high stakes indeed. The statement was published on the evening of the second last day of Harry and Meghan's successful royal tour to Africa. Mr Fitzwilliam said, reports indicate that courtiers advised against this being announced on an official royal tour but Harry and Meghan do not seem concerned by precedent. It appears that the case was finally ready but it remains totally unclear why they could not have waited until their tour was over. The Duchess of Sussex could come face to face with her estranged father for the first time in four years across a courtroom. Thomas Markle yesterday defended his decision to release details of a private letter his daughter sent him, which is now at the center of a legal battle. Meghan is suing a Sunday newspaper for publishing the highly personal contents. Sources close to Mr Markle, 75, say he is prepared to travel to the UK to defend his actions resulting in the possibility the pair could face each other in court. The development is another twist in the bitter rift between Meghan, 38, and her father. The retired Hollywood lighting director, who lives in Mexico, failed to walk her down the aisle at Windsor Castle in May last year after he suffered a heart attack. An insider said, it is tragic how Tom didn't come to the wedding, yet his first brush with anything royal could be in one of Her Majesty's courts. Tom speaking out to defend his actions as to why he let some of the letters content be made public shows his intent, and he is adamant he was justified in doing so. He's prepared to say it to anyone including a judge. Meghan has not seen her father since 2015, a year before she met Prince Harry, 35. Mr Markle has never met his son-in-law or five-month-old grandson Archie. Solicitors filed papers last week claiming that publishing the letter was a breach of Meghan's copyright, infringed her privacy and was a breach of the Data Protection Act. The couple have hired attack doc lawyers shillings over the royal family's preferred company Harbottle and Lewis.
but the Duchess is facing claims she invaded her own privacy after some US friends gave details of the letter to a magazine. Five friends spoke to a journalist after she reportedly sanctioned the move. She could now be forced to swear on oath whether or not she agreed. They spoke anonymously and described the letter as kind and loving. They said, after the wedding, she wrote him a letter. She's like, Dad. I'm so heartbroken. I love you. I have one father. Please stop victimizing me through the media so we can repair our relationship. Mr. Markle said, I decided to release parts of the letter because of the article. I have to defend myself. The letter didn't seem loving to me. I found it hurtful. I don't recognize the person who wrote the letter, but I still love my daughter. All it would take is one phone call, and most of this craziness would stop.